Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be customizing my new iPad. So this is the new iPad that I just received for my birthday and it is iPad generation 8. And basically this is what it looks like so far when you um, unlock the lock screen. It's just this simple background and then when you get in it's just this with all the apps, nothing very special. I really want to customize it and make it my own. So I'm going to start up the screen recording and I'll bring you guys along with the journey of me customizing my iPhone. I mean, sorry, not iPhone, iPad. Okay, so here's the screen recording for my iPad. And as you can see, I have all the basic widgets, all the basic apps. There's nothing really special about it right now, and I definitely want to make it, you know, more personalized to my taste. So I'm just going to start looking up some ideas on um, how to lay out my iPad and like aesthetic ideas, I guess you could say, for like my widgets and my wallpaper and all that stuff. So that's what I'm going to be doing, just like trying to figure out um, some ideas. So after browsing for a little while, I realized that there aren't a lot of, um, you know, ideas out there for like iPad aesthetic things. They have like wallpapers, but there isn't a lot of just like other ideas. So I figured why not make it my own. So I found this really cute star background that I'll use for like, you know, the wallpaper. And I think that's definitely going to be the inspiration for the aesthetic, you know, like blue theme we got going here. And I really love like how it's like gold and like white stars. And I think like something like this with the flowers will look so cute against the background as like a widget or something. So I'm going to be trying to find as many um, different little widgets as I can. <laughs> So I just found all of the images that I want for my iPad aesthetic and I have this little like board right here. So I have um, like a typewriter, this like silk, I have this really cute wave thing and I also have the flower pictures and the star wallpaper which you saw earlier. So I'm just going to add all these to my photos and we can make them really cute now. So I just added those all to my photos so now I'm going to go into settings and wallpaper and choose a new wallpaper. So I want, of course, the wave one and the star one. And I think the wave will look so cute as the lock screen. And then the star one will look really cute as the home screen. And I think they honestly look really cute for both, but that's what I'm going to do for right now. And oh my gosh, this looks so cute. I absolutely love that like blue wave look on the lock screen and the stars on the home screen. Oh my gosh, it's so adorable. I absolutely love that. So now that we have that, let's go make some widgets. So if you guys have not seen my widget video, it goes a little bit more in depth about how you can like make widgets and things like that. But I'm just going to be um, creating a few widgets for my screen home screen and yeah so like I said I just made all of the widgets that I want to make for the home screen so now I'm just gonna edit my home screen and I'm going to go over to this little sidebar and I'm just going to just delete all of these um, other widgets that I don't really need like I don't really need it to tell me the battery because I can just look in the corner and like all these things I don't really need here so now I can put my more customized things from widget smith and I can put those in there so all I have to do is just hit add widget and then I'll go in there like the cute like satin one right there and if I wanted to change it I could obviously just click it hit um, the number and then I can just change the number to like small widget 4 or small widget two or whatever. So now it's that cute little flower one. So I'm just gonna add in the rest of those widgets and 
and then we'll go into the next step. Okay, so as you can see, I have rotated the screen so it's horizontal, and now that I put it horizontally, I can have all of my widgets on the main home screen, which is super nice. Instead of having to just drag them over every time, now they're actually on the home screen, and when you edit your home screen, you can just click that button that says keep on home screen to keep them there. So now I'm just going to get all of the Apple apps I don't regularly use in a folder and just get those out of the way. Okay, so now that I have all of my Apple apps that I don't regularly use in this little productivity folder, I'm going to customize it a little bit more, just so it's a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, I guess you could say. So instead of having all of the apps just regularly like placed like that, I'm going to put them in color order, because why not? I mean, if we want to customize the iPad, we might as well put everything in color order. That's what I say. And wow, just by putting those in color order, they honestly look so good. So now that we have all of those in color order, I think we need to rename the folder um, Apple Apps. So I like to just put them all like lowercase and then spaced out by one space. I don't know, I just like the way it looks and it looks really cute. So that's what I'm gonna do for that folder. Just call it Apple Apps, cause that's what it basically is. And now they're all in color order in there, and it's so cute. So now that I have all of those apps organized, I want to bring over these apps that I have on the last page over to this page and put all of those in color order just to make them look, you know, really nice. And then I'll put these front pages in color order as well. So now that everything is in color order and it looks super nice, I think I'm going to add some like app icons for the bottom um, dock, I think it's what it's called. So I'm just going to go and try to find some things for that bottom dock, and yeah. Okay, so now that I have all of the app icons, I'm just going to go into the Shortcuts app and make a whole bunch of app icons for those bottom dock things. And I'll see you guys in a little bit after I make those app icons. Because I already have a video on that, you guys can check that video out to see how exactly I made all of these app icons. And for now, I'm just going to put all of those app icons on the bottom control dock in place of the other apps that are currently there. So now I have all of those app icons on the bottom page and it looks super nice. And I also moved all of the apps that were originally there into the Apple Apps folder. So here is the finished result of what the iPad looks like. It looks super nice and aesthetic. I have all of the apps in color order on the first and second page. I have the widgets there and it looks super cute. I have my new wallpapers. I have all the Apple apps in color order and then they're also in their own folder. And then I have all of the bottom dock apps as a shortcut and it looks super nice. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you guys enjoyed.